won four knockouts, and he's taking a fellow who's come a long way from home. Ike, tell me how you pronounce that, Spag. The president. Ike the president. <laughs> Ike Biabuchi from Nigeria. How'd I do? It's much better than I'll just call I want to see how Shelly does with this one. I like Ike. But I, I like Ike's coming in at 5-0. He's got three knockouts. Semi-homegrown Houston, Texas, Gregory Pickram. We're here, of course, in Fort Worth at Will Rogers Coliseum, and the crowd's still buzzing from that devastating knockout. In round number four, Obed Sullivan retaining the IBF Intercontinental Championship and looking very good. Bob, let's digress for a second here before we're waiting for our two uh, six-round heavyweight fight to start. Where does Obed Sullivan go now? Well, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's by being the IBF Intercontinental Champion, he's got a, it's as good as a top 10 rating in the division. He's got this belt that he can, I mean, go around. This, this uh, Thomas Williams wasn't just the kind of guy you go and take to, to defend the Intercontinental Championship. This guy wants to, wants to make a statement by taking on good fighters and, uh, you know, he, he's got to establish himself. He doesn't come with a lot of amateur credentials or whatever, but, he, I mean, he has established himself, in my opinion, and I've seen him in fours and sixes as he's come up, and he's just steadily improved every time out. I'm really impressed. Is there anybody, if you were managing him, that you target in the top ten to put him in with? Well, I mean, there's always guys you'd like to have, but, you know, getting him in the ring, I mean, I, <laughs> he, uh, you know, is a completely d different story. you, you got to, you know, take what's there a lot of times, especially in the heavyweight division. But I just true. think activity and exposure is what, uh, you know, he needs most. Six-round heavyweight bout coming up next. We go up to our ring announcer, Shelly Mann, with the official introductions. Our next, our next bout. Our next bout scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Heavyweight division, first we'll go to the blue corner to my left. Introducing to you, weighing in at 229 and a half pounds, wearing black trunks. His professional boxing record, six victories and no, no losses, includes four by knockout from Nigeria. Now fighting out of Dallas, Texas, here is the president, Ike Aibebuchi. His opponent coming out of the red corner, Weighed in at 210 and a half pounds, wearing blue trunks. His professional boxing record, he is also undefeated with four wins, including one draw, all wins by knockouts. From Houston, Texas, Gregory Pinkram, and your referee is Lawrence Cole. Six rounds. Well, Bob Pickram's down from your neck of the woods. You had an opportunity to see him? Oh, yeah, I've seen quite a bit of him, and I know Willie Savannah very well, the guy that's got him. He, he used to handle me when I was a fighter. But, uh, no, he, he's impressive. Kid Chocolate, they call him. And uh, as you see, he reminds me a lot of Evander Holyfield, a real good rhythm fighter. Well, this is scheduled for six. But it's small for a heavyweight, though, Pickram. He's in at 210 and a half. Yeah, he, he's, he's not a big guy, and his, his legs are certainly small, but he's got good quickness, and you see him start to get him in his rhythm. He's a nice little fighter. He's certainly not small from the waist up. Both fighters undefeated. Ike Abuchi, we don't know much about him. For you now to pronounce his name properly now, though. The president. Kid Chocolate, real, Gregory Pickram. Two, two real good prospects. You've got to give credit to Bill Benton, the matchmaker here, to for getting these kind of fighters both on their way up. Curtis Cox in one corner, Willie Savannah in the other, two experienced boxing people, and they both feel like they can win this fight. Bob, sort of unusual in today's marketplace to throw two undefeated heavyweights in against each other this early because somebody's coming out with something in the L columns today. I mean, it really is, but, you know, you take... You know, people that, you know, don't want to make a deal for their fighter early on, so they got to go the hard route. You know, they got to go in there and they got to fight hard fights. They, nobody, they're not under an umbrella already. They want to get their guy down the road, 10, 15 fights, establish him, and make a better deal with a promoter. I know that's what Willie Savannah is trying to do, and, and Curtis Cox and his group, I'm sure, have similar feelings. Curtis Cox, of course, the former welterweight champion of the world. As we're almost halfway gone here in round number one, we're scheduled for six on heavyweight explosion. 
you're just joining us, Obed Sullivan defended the IVF Intercontinental Championship. He knocked out Thomas Williams in four rounds. And by the way, we have to give a little vote of applause here as a good left-right combination by Chocolate Lands. The ropes made it through that fight. Let's hear it for the ropes. I think as this fight, you know, c continues, you know, it's to the benefit of uh, Kid Chocolate, Greg Pickron. He's, a, I think, the better fighter and the quicker fighter. The Ike is obviously a big, strong guy that's heavy-fisted, but I think he'll lose a little of that spark as this fight goes on. But Pickram's standing right in there with him, and he, he's not trying to avoid him so much. He's exchanging punches with him. Well, I have Ike's been six rounds one time. That was back in March. All at 22 years of age, I have Bia Bucci is. Pick Ron's been sparring with big man James Gaines and Sherman Griffin, who's preparing to fight Shannon Briggs on ESPN September 22nd. He, he's given very good account of himself in the gym. I'm really impressed with him. Under 20 seconds to go in round number one. We're scheduled for six. We're coming to you from Fort Worth. Will Rogers Coliseum. I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with Bob Spagnuolo. Hope you're really enjoying a very exciting show today. And these guys are really going at it. And down on one knee. Drops Ike Abiyabuchi, no knockdown called, and that's the end of a very good first round for both fighters. Round number two, we're on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. It's a schedule for six. Kid Chocolate. In the, uh, what you call those purple shorts, Bob? Yeah, that's that uh, Columbia Blue. It's a little bit of swelling underneath uh, Ike's uh, eye compliments of those right eye hands of Pickram in the first round. Both fighters undefeated. Something very unusual in today's marketplace. To put two undefeated heavyweights in this soon. Gregory Pickram, Kid Chocolate, he's in the purple shorts. Ike the president, Ibi Abuchi, originally from Nigeria. He's 6-0, oh, has four knockouts. Greg Pickram uh, had a few amateur fights when he was in his early teens, came from a boxing family, but uh, it was completely out of boxing for 10 years before he got back into it and uh, just to turned professional at about 180 pounds and done all this from there. Came in today at 210 and one half pounds, not exactly a big heavyweight, neither one of them that big. Ibi though, weighed 229 pounds. That's like a 19-pound weight advantage. They both look like a, they have similar body fat, which uh, looks like the legs, though. Oh, that's the legs. And Ike hurt Chocolate there. Uh, Pick Rom landed a good straight right hand, and Ike came back with his own, which had, you know, about 25 more pounds on it. Bob, if you were handling Pickram, would you keep him up in the heavyweights or would you try to bring him down a cruiser? No, I, I mean, I, I don't think any nice exchange of punches. Oh, by big both right hand, hand lands. It, it looked like more than it was, though. I think he, he arched it out there and it didn't have that much on it. But uh, no, I, I would never. I mean, who would want to have a cruiser weight unless you really had to? <laughs> Spoken like a man who's had a few, and I know I certainly have. You're the guy with the experience in that division. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 40 seconds to go in round number two, and very good round for the president, Ike Biabucci. Starting to land very consistently with that right hand on Greg Pickram. Pickram trying to get that jab started now. Needs to follow it with something, though. Yeah, Ike's got that power jab, and Greg's got that smooth, quick jab. Quick body shot brings the left hand of Chocolate down. We come to the end of round number two on Heavyweight Explosion. Hey! Round number three, it's a scheduled six-round heavyweight bout. Greg Pickram out of Texas. Undefeated in the purple shorts. Ike Ibiabuchi is in the black shorts. He's also undefeated. He's originally from Nigeria. Very good.
it's second round for Ibi Abuchi. Hurt. Man, they call Kid Chocolate. He's going to really need to get that jab working a lot more, Bob, if he's going to keep Ibi Abuchi off him. Yeah, well, he's going to have to drop the right hand in behind him because uh, Ibi Abuchi is just dropping, walking, trying to walk through that jab, and he's very strong, and once he gets inside, he's letting those bombs go. Ibi Abuchi's in the black shorts. They call him Ike the President. No doubt after our two-term president, Dwight David Eisenhower, known affectionately as Ike during the 1950s. Pickham trying to get that jab working here. Protects that body, though. He got hurt to the body earlier in the fight, second round. He's got a habit now bringing that left down, which is allowing I.B. Bucci to land that right. Yeah, he's got to he's got to have range where he can land that right Good hand, hand like speed, he just though, did. Pick from there, Bob. Right. He's he's got to be on the outside where he can drop that right hand over this guy, not not in the short shortstop there where this guy can smother him with those hooks. And right here, it. this is where Greg needs the box. Double jab, drop the right hand, step out. Well, he's getting confidence now with that jab. He stays on the outside. He finally dropped that right hand in there. Does it again. Two prospects both giving it their all in here, but Ike's got a little, seems like he's got a little re respect for Pickram at this point in the fight. He's not just bum rushing him anymore. And I've got a lot of respect for Pickram because he didn't have a good second round and he could have just started to really go downhill, but he's got the momentum shift in this fight. He's having a very good third round with about 45 seconds to go. It's scheduled for six. If he'd let Ike come to him easily in this third round too, this fight would have been, you know, I mean, the, the, the set piece battles in it would have really favored the big African. Another good fight here put together by matchmaker Bill Benton on heavyweight explosion. Good right though, Lance from Ibea Bucci. And he's got Pickham hurt. Pickham dropped that left hand again, and he's going to get dropped on the floor, and down he goes. Cole picks up the count at four, five. Pickham very slow getting up, gets up at around nine. Cole wants him to walk towards him. Wipes off the gloves. He's going to let it continue, but he's hurt. But he's going to make it through the round, though. We got this four, three, two. Oh, and he stops it just with the bell. Pickham could have survived that, Bob. He stops it just at the bell. Literally one second to go. One second to go in round number three. You notice that the kid isn't complaining much, though. He, he was hurt, and he didn't really, as, as Lawrence wiped him off there, he kind of took a few steps back, settling back towards that white corner, and... and uh, you know, you'd rather see a, a young prospect like this live to fight another day rather than get hit with a big shot when he's defenseless. Take a look here at the knockdown. You're going to watch the left hand, the pick from drop, and over the top, there goes that right. Yeah, the right to the temple is what hurt him here, and that right, too. Give Ike credit. He, he pulled out all the stops once he felt he had him hurt. You know, for two minutes and 25 seconds of the third round, Pickram was pitching a terrific round. And there he goes with literally one second to go in round number three. Referee Lawrence Cole stops the fight. We're going to go up to Shelly Mann for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, two minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. The winner by a knockout and still undefeated from Dallas, Texas, the president, Ike Hayabuchi.